A note to those watching this video, this video was shot on March 1st, 2024. On March 26th, 2024, the Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland uh, collapsed when a cargo ship lost control and ran into one of the supports and lives were lost. We want to make sure that you know that nothing is funny or exciting about not having control of your vessel and we certainly did not want to uh, portray that in this footage. Thanks again for watching and our thoughts and prayers are with all of those affected uh, because of the bridge collapse. Yep, I'm recording right now. We're testing the camera. You want to test the microphone? Talk in a normal tone. So way too loud. Yeah. <laughs> so just start yelling. Oh, I'm gonna do a close up. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. No, you're good yeah. looking, boat, boat girl. Open. Yeah. Uh, so what'd you do today, honey? We took the boat out. Yeah. Now the masts are down. The masts are down. And the deck is filled with sails and booms and gear and rigging and all kinds of crazy I'm stuff. I'm going to blame it on all that stuff. Blame what? Whatever happened. Oh, we just... Everybody's alive. We went over a few docks over. Mm -hmm. We did. Beautiful day. Absolutely. Beautiful 70 degrees, 11 o'clock in the morning, sunny. We were in we went, went at high tide, so we had five feet, five, yeah, five feet under the keel. Beautiful, not a smidge of wind, just glass. It was just perfect. Um, my first time backing her out of the slip did not go well. <laughs> we had our headsets on, though, so we were super calm. Oh yeah, oh, we could, but when I go back and look at that footage, it's not going to look calm at all. We could speak in a just a normal tone of voice and hear each other perfectly. Right. So no having. There was to a raise lot of fender, 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 pylon, 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 fender, fender. <laughs> there may have been some colorful words. I'm not sure. It'll be fun to go back and look at that. We did film we it. Just, we caught a fender leaving, and that twisted us and made our bow pulpit bump a pylon. Mm -hmm. That's all. Not another boat. Just mm -hmm. a pylon. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And we've bumped that very same pylon before. <laughs> and then uh, getting to a dock to the pump out station. It's open for the season now so we're, we're not spending money to have it pumped out. But thank you Harchie uh, Yacht Yard for taking care of us all winter. But now that it's open, we went over to ADOC, took two attempts, two attempts to get uh, to the dock. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Well, you know, <laughs> we learned some pretty serious docking techniques on our Beneteau. Yes, we did. On floating docks, because it was on Lake Travis. Right, yes. And so the docks were floating, because there was like a... 60 foot change in lake level um, <laughs> per summer <laughs> so per rainfall the uh and so using those techniques where you you know you do the captain ron thing you pull up at 45 degrees mm -hmm. with a little bit of speed you turn it hard away from the dock and then hit reverse and it and then you just slide, slide right, right in. into the space i parallel parked our right. our 32 foot Beneteau, like, but it took us time to learn how to do that too. Yeah, we just did. don't know the boat yet. But we were good at it, but yeah. with these pylons sticking up in the air, we tried that technique and our bow pulpit uh, touched a pylon, uh, where if it wasn't for that pylon, we would have just slid right in like normal. Um, so it's a learning curve. Right, we have a little bit to learn. So we mm -hmm. touched touched a couple of pylons with our bow pulpit. Mm -hmm. I say get rid of the bow pulpit. I'm good. <laughs> and then um, the pump out station had a blowout Ooh. with a 10 foot fountain of uh, waste 
straight up in the air. Straight up in the air. I missed it. I didn't even see it. The smell hit me before I... It was temporary, but mm -hmm. it was... And the harbor master had to come out. We were on the boat, fortunately. We weren't over by the motor, and we had the, the hose stretched as far as it could stretch. To get to the forward oh, head? Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Right, the forward head. You did it head. during the forward, yeah. That forward holding tank. So... Yeah. Yeah. But you were done. But you were done with that. That was done. It just blew. I was done, and I closed the valve on on the hose, and then it blew <clears throat> straight up in the air. It, it, it's just a connector with a cap that is supposed to be secured down really tight, gotcha. and that blew. That cap blew out, and and the built up pressure in the system blew the materials straight up into the air about 10 foot in the air for, for god a small bless our fountain. harbor master thank you brad i mean he he was on it yep he was uh, you, you made a quick phone call brad was here immediately yep. and yeah, um, he got it sh shut off bleached her all down yeah and I mean, just cleaned it all up properly and sanitarily yeah. and there was no wind fortunately yes we got both both holding tanks Jim got both holding tanks pumped out. Came back. <sighs> had a little, had a little issue with docking. We didn't bump any pylons. Well, the dinghy, uh, the stern line had a little too much play in it, and it swang over, swung. The, the dinghy swang, touch. Swang. <laughs> Did the dinghy swang over oh, and yeah. touch a? Yeah. Pylon? Yeah. It did touch. Yeah, the very back. I didn't back. know it touched. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we bumped a pylon <laughs> with a rubber dinghy. Right, right. Okay, um, so that wasn't as smooth as it should have been. Yeah. But I mean, and I wasn't going to turn off the engine until I knew we were secure, and we couldn't have been secure because my dinghy was wedged up against a, a pylon, so... That was just very interesting. And the dinghy's like, what, 10 feet in the air? <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> but so are the pylons. Exactly. It's these pylons. It's these. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why don't they do it? floating docks? Oh, my goodness. There's a tide here. Why don't they do floating docks like a normal? Shout out to Lori Larson. She said, get a marina, the floating docks. I said, okay. And then I we went into a stationary dock marina. Yeah, we took the only slip in Maryland that was available. We called a, a lot of places, yeah. But... This is where we're supposed to be. There's no doubt about it. This is where we're supposed to be. On this boat, in this marina. Doing this crazy stuff people. that makes our blood pressure raise. Whew. It was quite the quite the morning. No no physical harm to oh. any person. Nope. We bent our 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 ancil ancillary uh, bow anchor roller just a little bit. But actually, I kind of like the position of it now better than I did before. I could throw up. <laughs> so I think it worked out for the best. Oof. Yeah. I um, mean, it's just, you know, that's that's what everybody says. Sailing is like 99% boredom and 1% sheer terror. <laughs> I am an adrenaline junkie. I love excitement. I do. I'm a roller coaster rider. Way back. Well, you had your your share today. Yep, got a good dose. And you you drove. You were at the helm the whole time. So thanks for doing that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yep. I it's was a on good the hobby. deck, but I suppose you're if you're working the deck, you shouldn't be letting the boat bump into these pylons now, should you? <laughs> and then the minute we get down here, trying to catch our breath, a wasp just like floats in. Hi guys. <laughs> What are you doing? I think it's springtime. I'm going to wake up. Yeah. But we got our screens in. Yes, we so love our screens. We're in good shape. Yes. Thank you, Both previous the front owners. And the back, we have two companion ways. You can see the second one over there, which I love this boat, this center cockpit with the two companion ways. Yes. And yeah, these, I was just hopped down to turn off the starting battery. And these custom made screens are awesome okay i'm gonna zoom out oh my god you've been zoomed in all this time oh my god zoom back out okay good oh yeah any, any final thoughts 
Well, no, we had a, you know, thanks for doing it. You know, we're, our goal is to go out twice a week all summer. Go out and work, uh, get to know the Chesapeake, get to know our boat, number one. Yep. And then head south in September. It's a plan, man. It's a plan. We'll okay. see. Okay. See, see y'all out there okay. on the bay this summer. Okay. And here, dear ones, is the actual footage. I want to make sure we have binoculars. Uh, yeah, got a little breeze coming up, so I'm ready to go. Okay, you want to start the engine? Uh, no. Yeah, I can. Uh, no, I got to put my phone up here first, but it looks like it's going to hit that. Should be able to put it right there. Open that up, stick it right in there. And then it can stay there or we can put this. Yeah, that looks better. So we'll put the bands around it like that. Okay. There, you good? Yeah. Okay. You want to get your glasses? I do. Okay, just turn it. Well, what I do is I give it just a little bit of gas. Colleen never said to do it, but I'm used to this on island time. When you push that in, it doesn't put it in gear. You just give it a little bit of gas like that, and then back out. Now it's out of gear. Then I just turn the, turn the key. All the way? Yep. Like a kitten. Like what? Purrs like a kitten. Purrs like a kitten. And then we have to go make sure that the water's coming out the back. Okay. So I'll go do that. Okay. Since we're on the dock, I'll do it here. Okay. tell me what you're thinking. Well, the mistake that I made in the past was trying to back out that way. Right. Yeah, I made that mistake twice. So, and that other time I tried to back all the way out and that didn't work either. So I would like to suggest you go straight back mm -hmm. and head towards the bow of that blue whole white little boat as far as you want, as close as you want to get. Put it in forward. Put it in forward. Take off that. Gonna be a <laughs> The other reverse. Yeah. Okay. And then I thought I would release the. Yeah, honey, sit. Sit down. Okay. And so, we, what lines are you gonna let off? And you got two uh, fenders on the starboard forward? Okay. I was going to let off the stern line first. Perfect. And then go up and let off the bow line. Okay. And and you're going to get on board? I'm going to be on board the whole time. Okay, perfect. I'm not going to get off the boat. Okay. And, and then when we come up on the other dock, Probably. Like Robert taught us. We'll see. Okay. See how you're feeling? Yeah. Okay, do you want me to give you input or do you want me to kind of chill out and let you make your decisions? Um, well, I think um, between the two of us, we'll be able to know what's working. Right? I mean, I would definitely give you input if I thought there was a safety right. issue. Right, or, or right. A major inconvenience issue. Mm hmm Okay. All right. Okay. And then, when we do get up onto the dock over there, I thought I would throw on the stern line to wrap it It's connected. And I wrap it around a pylon and then hand you or... 
Okay, and you know the, and then do a new bow line. the bow is gonna go the bow's gonna float off first. So I would put the I would do the bow first. The bow is Okay, but we don't get to the bow till last. So by the time the boat gets up to the bow, I was hoping to have a out there so I didn't have to worry about that. And I think um, we decided when we come here that we do midship first. So can we do midship fleet first well, on that? That's why I said here. It's tied off back there, wrap around it, bring it here, it's tied off, and then we're connected. Okay. That sounds good. We can give it a shot. Give it a shot. Okay. Stern first, then bow, then you're ready to pop it in reverse and take off. Yeah. I'm not going to push on anything unless there is a boat hook. So we just let her go. Okay. And any, yeah, you can talk to me as we go. So that I am hearing if it's, if it looks good, keep doing what you're doing, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll keep talking. Good. Yeah. I love it that we can talk to you. Low. For go. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, got my head in the GoPro. Yeah. All heads do that. Um, hey Jim, I want to put the rudder in a uh, straightforward position. Do you know how I can do that? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Okay. Okay. first time uh, um, backing out the boat. Okay. Yeah, can you hear me? Okay. Are you ready? Which way do I turn it to go left with the bow? Jim? Well, I'm a neutral. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Nope. 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 Jim, Jim, Jim. Shit. Shit. Nope. I'm in a pylon. over. Just trying to get her straightened out a little bit here. Okay. Okay, I'm trying. In reverse. Nope, I'm losing the front. I'm losing the front. I'm losing the front. I can't. Uh, front pylon, front pylon. No, the last pylon, right there. Forward bow, boy. Okay. Uh, well, I'd rather have them on when we're trying to get out. Okay, honey. We'll debrief when we get done.
see this looks so wide right here. I see a duck. That's that damn thunder twisted you right around. Okay. in neutral now. Oh, okay. All right, turn for it. Okay, to start now. Yep. Is somebody there? Oh, that cat isn't there. Oh, okay. Now there's a nurse who brought this up on docking as well, so we're going to pull them up. You know that we have the rope rails to I don't. It doesn't feel good. I'm in 4.9. to do the eyes and glass again. Okay, you said you want me to come at a 45 degree angle and then turn it hard starboard? Okay. It's a neutral. Is that okay? neutral. You want me to slow it down? Now she doesn't respond like island time. It's hard over. What? Tell me what I'm doing, Jim. Okay. Okay. okay, she's in reverse. It's hard over starboard. Okay. Okay, forward straight. She's a neutral. I'm turning port. Little gas. Starboard neutral. She's not moving, is she? I need to go forward. Rudder straight. Starboard. I'm I'm turning. Okay, don't jump off if you don't have a tie. Because I'm not doing this alone. Starboard. I'm still in neutral. Port. Starboard. Okay. Okay. Okay, we need to make a decision right now. Right now. 
Okay, I'm in reverse. Trying to get her stopped. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, bow, bow. And you're off the boat. Okay, we're just going around. Watch the aft, aft pylon. Aft pylon, tell me what to do. I'm trying to find the rudder. Okay, here's the rudder. You want the rudder just straight? She's in neutral. Okay. Can you reach it? Whatever you need. Okay. You want to bring her closer? Off. Okay. Do I need to do anything other than neutral and the key? Don't do the key. You pull this. Oh, okay. We yeah. didn't. Pull it and then you do the key. Okay. Give me your thoughts. Oh, I was scared to death. Leaving the dock. Huh? Leaving the dock. Yeah. It didn't go smooth because I, I could have, I should have pushed off the bow a little bit with the boat hook. The stern or the bow? The stern a little bit with the boat hook. But what happened was the uh, fender hit the pylon and twisted it around, and I knew that was going to happen. Um, so I should have pushed it off to miss that fender. That would have helped yeah. that, that went relatively horrible. Horribly. Did you see these poles sticking out of the water over here? Nope. Right before the mooring field. Right. Nope. <sighs> okay, coming in. We were going a little too fast. Um, the anchor hit the pylon, bent the bow pull thing. I don't know how bad, but it's bent. So we're going to have to take a look at that. If there's any thread blast damage or not, we'll have to take a look at that later. But um, yeah, that bow just sticks way out there. And these pylons suck. We've never had to worry about those before. It's always been floating docks. Hmm. That's what happened there. I was our glitch there. I couldn't couldn't throw the line over that pylon. That didn't work for me. Well, we had agreed to do the bow first. And, and we did. Or no, I couldn't hold the stern. Yeah, you jumped. No, we said due to the wind, and because she floats off so fast, we were going to do the bow first. But you went to the stern. From the from the boat, right? Yeah, from Throw the boat. it off from the boat. Okay. Yeah. okay. Anything else before we do the pump out? No. Man, that was stressful. Yep.
So bow last. Yep, bow last. Okay. Start her up when you're ready. Okay. I don't give it gas again. I wouldn't. Okay. That's a good sound. Yeah. Thank you, Colleen. Yes. Absolutely. Turn and then bow. And then we'll see what happens. I'll stand over, I'll stand back here with the boat hook. Because uh, right. when you take off that way, the right. stern's going to twist into the dock. Mm. Okay. Are you ready to rock and roll? Um, Test. Test, yeah. Tell me when you're ready for me to do the dock lines. I think we're ready. Okay, I'm just going to go forward. Not the bow, it would be the stern. The bow is going to go by herself, starboard. That's what she does. I know. I'm just going to go forward. I'm trying to go forward. Miss what? Fender to hit the pylon. What fender to hit what pylon? Okay. Okay. Okay, honey. Okay. That's why I was going to go straight instead of starboard. See, I think if we turned harder starboard, we would have turned right into the right into the pier. Can I turn starboard now? Thank you. So the water is going to be uh, the wind is going to be pushing the bow towards that towards the boat next to us on our starboard. Or even the midship. Midship would help. I think we decided before to do the midship first. And then I do it around the winch drum. Do you remember us talking about that? Yeah. Okay. I'm not set up for that. Oh, I thought that's not good. So what do we need to do? It's in neutral. You want me to put it in reverse? She needs a little water going over the prop just to maneuver her. Okay. Still in neutral? Mm, it feels too early right now. I'm sorry. Yep. Is there any way you can put a loop in it and just throw it over the top so you don't have to get off the boat till we're at least secured to the dock? Okay. I'm I'm in neutral. Do you want me to go in reverse? my back.
합니다. 자, 이게 turning starbuck, turning starbuck, turning starbuck, hard over. Still hard over. Okay, that bow's gonna go. Okay, get the bow. Okay. Got it. Okay. Can you tie it off bow? There goes the stern. Just real quick. I'm losing the stern. Just throw me mid. Good. Throw me that line right there. I don't. I'm not tied off. I don't know where it is. My stern's going, Jim. No, it's still going. I'll hold it. Can you pull the one up that's in the water? Okay, I feel stopped. Good job. Okay. Yeah. She seems pretty far away from the dock. Is that okay? For now. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, honey, honey, honey. No, the midship, um, the line is. I'm, I'm, I'm on the pylon, the dinghy's on the pylon. Jim, okay, um, I'm not able to hold this midship. I'm gonna put it around the winch. Um, no, because the dinghy's on the pylon with the stern line. Okay, it's going again. There it goes. There it goes. Come on, Jim, please. Hurry. Jim, please. The stern line is not tight enough. The dinghy was on the pylon. That was not good enough.
no, I just want it secured. I'm not turning off the engine until it's secured completely, until it's where it needs to be. Anchor light was on. Yeah, maybe hit it accidentally. Um, we did it. Yes, we did. Say bye, Ace. Bye, Ace. A huge thank you to the Morgan 41 Out Island Owners Group Facebook page, especially Pierre. They have done a lot to help us realize that going from a fin keel performance sloop to a full keel, shallow draft, 1981 catch is like learning how to sail all over again. We're up for the challenge and we want to thank this group of fellow sailors for their input, their insight, and their encouragement.